Monday night football, Bills, Jets. There's been a lot of changes in New York this past week. Is that the catalyst to back the Jets, or do we fade them? I'm going to let you know how to play Monday night football. Make some money. Free play with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your Monday night matchup, divisional matchup in the AFC East, Bills at the Jets. And, of course, the big news Coming back from London, as has often been the case in recent years, you fire a coach when you get back to the mainland, and that's what the Jets did. Uh, Robert Sala is gone. He, of course, former defensive coordinator at the Niners, and uh, the interim head coach now is also a defensive coordinator. Jeff Uldrich makes the switch. But that hasn't been the problem for the Jets. It's been the offense, and offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett is gone, and uh, that means in the interim, We're going to get a new play caller, Todd Downing, steps in for this Monday night. So is that the catalyst we need to maybe see a spark? I think it actually is. You know, the old saying is you fire the coach because you can't fire the entire team. I didn't necessarily agree with firing a defensive-minded head coach when your defense has been okay. I just fired the OC, and that's what they basically have done. But I do think it lights a spark in the locker room, and that's what this Jets franchise, this Jets team needs. They've really had a tough run since Aaron Rodgers was injured early on in Game 1 last year. Oh, by the way, that was a Monday night game against Buffalo. So yeah, this is a pretty focused spot for the Jets as well. Now, I would have liked it if Buffalo had won last week at Houston. would have been maybe a better spot to fade him. I also would have liked it because we had to play on the Bills as a dog. In fact, I was very close to a 6-0 sweep last weekend in all sports, and the two losses we had... We're on the Steelers and Bills, both on the final play of each game. Otherwise, we go 6-0. and Still having a great season, up over 150 units, all sports, this calendar year. Um, but I do think Buffalo is a little overrated this season. And McDermott, I like Sean McDermott, a big fan of McDermott. Uh, obviously made some mistakes last week. He's owned up to it. But this is a tough spot here just to bounce back on the road, hostile environment, Monday night football. And statistically, if you look at the Bills this season, they are struggling offensively. This team is averaging just 5.5 yards per play against opponents that allow 5.8. They're now taking on a Jets defense that gives up just 4.5, one of the best defenses in the NFL. So I do think Buffalo will be limited defensively. And while the Jets offense has been horrible, there's no question about it. And Buffalo does have a strong pass defense. I think the switch of OC, the, the new life that this team has gotten, we could see a much better offensive showing here. And Something to point out, the last couple of weeks, the Jets have struggled as they have all season, and they faced two really good blitzing defenses in Denver and Minnesota, two pressure defenses. Buffalo is not as much of a pressure defense, so I do think Aaron Rodgers will look better this week, and I wouldn't be surprised to see some of those player props go over, over as well. So take a look at the Jets, plus two and a half. You know, this summer, the advance line, New York, was a favorite in this game, and the public is also on Buffalo in this game, which is another reason it's a bit inflated. And for that reason, you might want to wait until near kickoff Monday night and see if that key number of plus three shows. Right now, it's a solid two and a half across the board as we check the Wager Talk Live odds screen. But the public is on Buffalo, so you might see a plus three. So if you're going to play the Jets, I would wait. Try to get a plus three at kickoff. If you only have a two and a half, which is the current line, you might want to consider a six-point teaser. Um, This does qualify as a good teaser selection. As I lean New York, the six points gets it from two and a half up to eight and a half. Of course, you'd have to find some other games on Sunday to match that up with. And the key of once again with teasers is you want to cover the key numbers of three, six, seven. You're either taking a seven and a half to eight and a half point favorite down below a field goal, or in this case, taking a one and a half or two and a half point dog like the Jets up above seven and a half or more. So the Jets do make a solid six point teaser, probably the best teaser play on the board this week. Um, So definitely use that if you're playing teasers. Um, Otherwise, you might want to wait and try to get a plus three on Monday night. Take a look at the Jets. So I do think uh, that spark, the the coach firing could light a spark this week for a New York team that's still pretty talented overall. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? Are you playing side total? Do you like that teaser selection? What about some player props? I love it when you all throw the player props in because I do read every comment and I reply back. And we have thousands watching these videos. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. If you're liking the free play videos, I'll keep them coming. Comment below and also click that thumbs up like button. Boom. Thank you. And don't forget, hit subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts. You know when these free play videos go up each and every week, including not only the solo videos like this game, but also my college football top 25 and NFL fade the public videos as well. Click like and click subscribe and the bell for instant alerts. Now, if you want my official best bets, It's quite simple. If I have a play, my clients get it. I've been doing this for 29 straight seasons, 
as a professional sports handicapper. I mentioned earlier that we are just crushing it this year in all sports, ranked number one overall, up over 150 units of profit, and we still have two and a half more months to go this calendar year. And this is the only time of the year over the next month in which baseball, football, and basketball is all going at the same time. So it is an excellent opportunity to grab an all sports, all access. And right now, when you buy a 30-day, we're including the second 30-day package for just $99 more. That's a 60-day all access. Or the best deal is the one-year all-access special with the $800 discount when you use promo code SM365. That gets every best bet I release down to over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play for every football, baseball, basketball, college, and pro best bet for the next 365 days and nights. But you got to use promo code SM365 on that one to get the eighth instant $811 discount at checkout. Hey, look, you don't have to memorize the promo codes or the special offers. I change them up every week for you. So check out my page, see which one works best for you, but don't delay. Get on board now. Don't watch any more winners pass you by. It's an excellent time to be playing all sports. I mentioned uh, the all sports up over 150 units as we head into this weekend, but don't forget it's been consistent with all sports. In fact, the last three seasons, I'm number one in ATS units, one in college and pro football combined. We finished this baseball regular season on a 31-13 and 13 best bet run, and the NBA starts in less than two weeks. I'm number one the last three years in NBA profit and number one all-time units one in the NBA in the history of wagertalk.com. So just another reason why those all-sports, all-access packages will make you some nice money here over the next several months. Check them out right now on my page. You'll also see what best bets I have daily. You'll see a recap of the previous best bets at the bottom with analysis. And most importantly, don't forget about the free play. I try to post a free play each and every day for you on the page as well. So check all of that out along with the special offer, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Don't forget to follow me on social media at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.